What did I tell you? Always look before you leap. Well, I made it, didn't I? Hi, everybody. Welcome to the channel where we study the laws of mind that govern our lives. Always working, never deviates and works for all. A patron asked the following. Can one literally put themselves into the other guy's shoes? You state there is no law of assumption. Why is this not a law? And these are great questions. So let's start with the first one. Well, can one literally put themselves into the other guy's shoes, into his skin? Yes, everyone can, literally. Okay? We tend to call those skin walkers, <laughs> okay, but we make up crazy stories about them. But yes, the clip at the beginning of this video comes from Disney's uh, The Sword and the Stone. And it shows this perfectly. It's, you know, Wart goes, is learning, go into the squirrel, be the squirrel. Go into a fish, be the fish. You know, it, it's, you have to be it. That's a great movie to watch if you haven't. So you ask, you ask questions uh, like a little kid. Why? <laughs> Why is it like that? Why are they like that? Gnosis means in Greek, knowledge. And in ancient Hebrew, why? Or, like a little kid, you wish. I wish I knew what it was like to be then. To be a squirrel. I wonder what it would feel like if that's what you do when you ask that question. If you're not sure of how it's going to feel, what would it feel like? How would I feel? I wonder what it would feel like if I were XXX. If you are in silence, and you're not imagining, you're not thinking, you're just quiet, then you may step literally into their shoes. If you're not, then you will be given answers as you do mundane tasks or go to silence after thinking about that, or they'll tell you something out of the blue that gives you some kind of understanding. You're a divine spirit in a meat suit. Keep reminding yourself that you are a divine spirit. That is a good foundation. Keep some space between you and everything on the outside. That's the wall, okay? You tear down the wall of the ego and then you build up a wall that, you know, it's really making space between yourself and everyone and everything else. Don't come into my space. It was a big deal in the 60s. Three feet away. <laughs> so you don't want to puncture your suit. You want space. Okay? So you keep some space between you and everything on the outside. You keep it outside. You're in space. Suit. You are physically attached. Okay? But spiritually detached and it's the thinking and the feelings and all that is spirit detached from those things okay you, you use those things your senses your feelings your thinking when you're alone <laughs> you keep your mouth shut okay and think about it so be physically attached and spiritually detached a patron called this a God sandwich, and I would state that is very true. It's a God, you know, sandwich. And so you think of God, you state your what you want, you know, your wish, and think of God. That is the way M. Fox um, described getting a demonstration, you know, manifesting something. In this case, it is, you know, think of the things you're grateful for. State something you wish. State your wish. Think of the things you're grateful for. The things you have now that you are grateful for. Okay? It's a sandwich, all right. But it, it really is a flow. People talk about a flow. It's flowing. You're being grateful for this, grateful for that. And then you 
flow into what you know you want and then so you're wrapping it around you know everything you're grateful for and it will come you be grateful but for what you do have, slip in what you want and go back to being grateful for what you do have. You know, you, then you have to be good to it, okay? You give it your undivided attention. You just look at it without thinking anything about it. You just see how the light plays on it. You, you look at it. It doesn't matter if it's dead or alive. You know, that's a state of mind. It's not really dead. It has the life force in it. Admire it. Respect it. Don't you love your refrigerator? Just touch it. Look at it. Admire it. Respect it. Be grateful it's in your life. So, you know, God sent you here. <laughs> You know, and he's providing for you. He's not going to send you at, into outer space and not provide for you. Okay, God sent you and he's providing for you. And you're and everything you have to do while you're there. And, and it's all well. Okay, it's all well. You, you be confident in that. Okay, and you are his undercover agent. You're his spy. You know, and it's time to come home and report. It's when he starts to come up and this spiritual journey really gets going. And in that case, you, you forgive and, and just walk away, making that space from those bad boys. I'm not listening to you guys anymore. You know, I have answers now. I have knowledge. And I'm going to apply that knowledge. And I'm going to live a good life while I'm here. And, you know, remind yourself that all of nature is prosperous and abundant, rich, beautiful, gorgeous, fulfilling. It's always making more babies. You know, it's great. <laughs> you are here to enjoy and participate in life, witness, and report, okay? testify, and not forget your divine spirit which is what happened. So you're just reminding yourself, I am divine spirit. This is not a joke. I'm a divine spirit. And this suit is the cross of flesh and blood. It's just a suit, okay? No attachments. Drop the ego. It's part of the ego. Because you worry about it and what you look like and all that other stuff. That's ego. Drop it. <laughs> and like they would say in the 60s and 70s, check your ego. Leave it outside. You are loved. Not a million feelings. Fractured. Love fractured. And you can pull it back together because there's nothing stronger than love. Okay? Now, as for the second question, you state there's no law of assumption. Why is this not a law? Because it isn't, you know? Creativity creates, therefore, imagination creates reality. That is law. That is principle. Okay? A must-have when manifesting from imagination to consciousness is faith, confidence. Okay? The unseen will be seen. It strengthens your faith, your confidence. You know, it. every time you see it happen, it strengthens that. So assumption is just a crutch, okay? It's not a law. It's a crutch. It's a technique. You assume, okay? But they come to rely on the techniques, the crutches, assuming, okay? And then the day comes when your assumption is challenged. Okay? It's going to happen because you assumed. That's fake confidence. It's not real, okay? So you either allowed it to strengthen your faith that you are a divine soul and God Almighty is watching over you and protecting you. He's in you. He's outside of you. He's everyone. He's everything. He's all around. He's the universal life force. He's in your heart. Okay? So you either think first and then imagine, or you, which is the natural way, or 
you imagine first and then think about it, which is the right way, the way you started off life being, okay, but then, you know, man and his beliefs got in the way and, you know, confused you. So, you know, it's whatever is best for you. And the Bible takes into account that you've been taught this way. Now forgive, forget, and all that. Now, when you kill your ego, you know, is when you start to realize that you're getting everything, everything, everything. And, and you don't care about your body. I took it with me. You don't have to bury me. It's okay. I, I'll just take it with me. Because you know it's the divine substance, and you've gone back to the divine substance, so it's coming with you. You're not going to live in this body in heaven. Get your own heavenly body. <laughs> but you, you take this one with you, and you, you will use it, you know, if you need to be called down. So the higher you rise in consciousness, you will be challenged on those assumptions faster and faster. Until you beat it. I do hope this helps. This is the way I see it. My perception. So maybe you think about it. And you know. Get a nugget out of it. Maybe an aha moment. Maybe it gets you to go watch something. Or read something else. Or whatever. I hope it helps. Blessings to you. Thank you. Thank you for being you. not try and bend the spoon. That's impossible. Instead, only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no spoon. There is no spoon? Then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends. It is only yourself. The Oracle will see you now. It's only inside, only inside.